Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to today's Wild Rift video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Oriana, but it's not going to be your traditional Oriana in the mid lane, it's going to be Oriana bot lane. Now in the game that I played um, in ranked, I had pretty much a full AD team and I was the last pick, so I was thinking... Do I pick Corky? Do I maybe pick AP Varus? But I was like, no, let's give bot lane Oriana a try. You see this a few times in pro play, mainly with Senna. So Senna is playing that fasting Senna role. And you've got Oriana play being that kind of carry, being that sort of protection. But this was like a traditional uh, comp with Oriana bot lane. We had Alastar support. We had the Yasuo and the Malphites. We had a really, really good Wombo combo. So I was like, why not? Let's give it a try. But as always... If you enjoy the content, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content as well. But looking over Oriana's build, build is slightly different to the, what it was before when I did my previous uh, video. Now, obviously, Luden's Echo has been buffed recently, so you like to go Luden's Echo now because it gives you more ability power, more ability haste as well, and you also have maximum mana. Now, the maximum mana is actually quite important for Luden's Echo. And that's because of the tier of the goddess. Now, for the first item, you normally want to go for the tier of goddess to get that stacked up as quick as possible. Then after the tier of goddess, you want to go for Luden's Echo because you kind of want to get that spike as soon as possible. So you'll still be t um, stacking the tier of the goddess, which will then upgrade into the Seraph's Embrace when you finish the Archangel stuff. But you kind of want the Luden's Echo before that just to give you a bit more damage and a bit more early game power with Oriana. But when you complete the two items, when you complete the Luna's Echo and a Seraph's Embrace is finished, you get a load of damage because you have a lot of mana which scales into ability power. And after them two items, you want to go for the Lucidity Boots. Lucidity Boots gives you even more ability haste, which is really, really nice. In terms of boots upgrades, um, you've got a couple of good options. Stasis Enchant is a really, really nice boots upgrade. You can maybe go uh, for something like uh, Protobelt, which is not a bad option as well if you just want to get that little bit of a dash. Or you can either go for something a little bit more niche. Uh, you can go for Shadows Enchant. Shadows Enchant has kind of been rising, especially in the supports at the moment, just to get them slows. And also grants you vision as well, because wherever the ghosts go, it will be where the closest ally is. So not only gives you a bit of vision, but it also gives you that slow. So you can actually walk up and land your combo with your uh, ultimate and even your first and your second ability. So you've got a few options there. And after that, Death Cap still a great item. It got nerfed. Um, it kind of got a um, price increase, but it still gives you 120 ability power and increase his ability power by 40%, so it does give you a lot of damage. Then after these three core items, these are kind of your three core items, you have the tier which upgrades into Seraph's Embrace, um, you have the Luna's Echo, and you have the Death Cap. After that, it's kind of situational. Uh, if the team does have a lot of healing, you can go for Oblivion Orb, which is a tier 2 item, which builds into Morello Nomicon. Uh, this gives you Grievous Wounds, which reduces the healing of anyone on the enemy team if you hit them. So it's really nice to go Oblivion Orb if the enemy team has healing. You'll see that in today's game. Or you can go for something like Void Staff. Void Staff is really good for that magic penetration. If the enemy team is building a lot of magic resist, then magic penetration works out really well. And then for the final item, it's just upgrading your Morella Nomicon. Now, the final build will look a little something like this. So, you have the Archangel Staff, which will build after Luden's Echo. Lud uh, you've obviously got Luden's Echo there. You have the Stasis Enchant for the upgrade. Death Cap, Void Staff, and the Morella Nomicon. So, your full build looks like this, but you kind of want to work it around like this. So, you go for Tear, Luden's Echo, then you want to kind of want to build your boots, and then you finish... The, Seraph's um, the Archangel Staff, which will then upgrade into the Seraph's Embrace after the Luna's Echo. Then you go for Death Camp, you go for the Oblivion Orb if they have healing, and then go for Void Staff. So, overall, your build will look a little something like this. Now, for runes, not really much is to uh, really change for the runes. Uh, you still want to go Conqueror. Conqueror just works really, really well with Oriana. You're going to be in fights a lot, poking down enemies with your abilities, and just staying in fights for a long period of time, so you're able to get that adaptive damage uh, when you hit enemies with five um, five separate attacks or abilities, which works really well with Oriana because your Q works as one, your W, your E, you've got your ultimate, you've got your auto attacks as well, so there's, lo there's so many different times that you can stack the Conqueror quite quickly. Uh, Brutal for your second rune. Brutal just gives you that nice bit of early game damage. Oriana in, in the early game can struggle a little bit, 
Uh, especially in bot lane as well. Bot lane Oriana is very, very interesting to play. Doesn't really do a lot of damage. You're kind of just there to uh, wave clear. Most of the time, you just want to clear the wave. You just want to get to your uh, power spike as soon as possible. Um, but yeah, Oriana is still a late game champion. So when you do get a few items under your belt, you can do a lot of damage. But this, this just helps you out a little bit in the early game. Just to give you that bit of ability power. And also got a bit of a magic penetration in there. For the second, uh, for the second sub rune, uh, you have a second wind. You can go for someone like Hunter Titan if you want to. Hunter Titan is good against enemies that have a lot of crowd control. So say something like, I know Olaf has all the slows. You've got uh, maybe, um, trying to think who else now that has any crowd control. <laughs> Alistar. Uh, wow, I cannot think of any. Brom is another good example. You know, Anyone that has any sort of CC or crowd control. Zaya as well, obviously down the bot lane. Mentioned about AD carries. Um, the second one actually works really, really well as well. Because most of the time, you want to be kind of pushing up and being able to... Um, poke down the minions, but sometimes at the moment in bot lane, you'll be against like a Nami or a Lulu who's going to be poking you a lot. So with them poke, second wind allows you to just heal more health over time so you can stay in lane that little bit longer. And then lastly, we have Sweet Tooth, just to give you that little bit of extra healing from the honey fruit and also give you a little bit of extra gold. And then you have Flash and a Barrier for the spells. But yeah, Oriana bot lane worked out really, really well in this game. Um, I wouldn't really recommend it most of the time in solo queue. Uh, I just played it just to see how it is. It can work pretty well. But again, you don't really have that much pressure in the bot lane. Obviously, don't play it every single game. It's a very, very situational pick. Obviously, in this game, I had a full AD comp. So I didn't want to pick an AD um, carry as well. Otherwise, it will be full attack damage. And it'll be really, really hard to go through the enemies. Because all you have to do... Is just build loads of armor. But yeah, the game was fun anyway. It was a good, good blast. We got a few nice um, plays in there as well. And yeah, hopefully you all enjoy it. So as always, take care. And I'll see you all very soon. Peace. My team all picked full AD. So you know what? You are on it's time to play some Oriana. Welcome to um, this build is completely wrong. The one I have... Um, one I have recommended. So I'm going to go uh, tier first item. Then after tier, I'm going to go for Luna's Echo. And then we go for Death Cap, uh, Void Staff, and then maybe Morello. Actually, do they have a lot of healing? They do have a lot of healing, actually. Oh, God, they do. Lulu can heal later on. Misfortune probably buy Life Steal. Fiora Life Steal. Lee Sin as well also has Life Steal. Okay, I might get Oblivion Orb early on. All right, let's go. Oriana bot lane. Probably not the best with Alistar, to be fair, but because my team picked all AD, it was kind of a um, kind of a rough one. Oriana's like very weak in the lane, so it's kind of a uh, a bit of a tough one. How did that hit me? Like, what is going on, man? How are these hitting me?
or one HP. Please not take my CS. I just took my CS. Wow. Wait. Shwana just got a double kill? Huh? Uh, 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 uh what? Shyvana broken chat? Huh? I will do, carry I will do. Unlucky. Danger. It's not bad though. I mean, with this lane, you just need to play passive. Even though Alistar doesn't really want to play passive. I mean, we did well there when the uh, when the gank was coming. Which is why Alistar can set up ganks pretty well most of the time. But with Orianna, you kind of want to play passive. Oh, unlucky. I don't have enough mana. I thought I had blue buff and not red buff underneath me, so. I went lucky. Oh, God, what is that guy doing? I have Ludens now, though, so I'm pretty strong. Oh, that's huge. Oh, what a combo that was. What a triple kill combo that was. Holy moly, that was crazy. They just baited them all in for my ulti, I guess. <laughs> Giovanna ulted in, I ulted as well. Damn. That was crazy. All right, now we're going to go and complete the, uh, the Archangel staff, which we will do now. We'll get our... CDR boots as well. So like the Archangel Staff and Ludens is a really, really nice combo for Orianna because the mana that you get for Ludens acts as extra damage because with Archangel Staff, when you get it completed into uh, Seraph's Embrace, the more mana you have, the more damage you have. 
It scales with mana, which is really, really nice. Oh, nice ulti there again. <laughs> Another two man ulti. Wait, Shivana. Nice, let's go. Oh my god, my damage. Okay, that's not good. Oh my god, we're destroying them, chat. Oh! Oh! No! Opium. It's fine. Oh no. Sidestep. Oh! No, hit the ta- No! Hit the tower! No! <laughs> I at least hit the tower! Oh! Oh, Bob Cal, thank you very much for the, uh, for the raid. Oh no, that's such a yikes actually. That's such a like yikes. Alright, let's go for death cap. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go for oblivion orb this game. Because with oblivion orb, it gives um the enemy healing reduction if we kill if we hit them. So like Lulu's might be healing a little bit if she, if she gets a harmonic. Miss Fortune's gonna be healing with Blade Rune King, Lee Sin and Fiora, so it's quite important actually to go for uh, Oblivion Orb. It's kind of nice thing now about AP since the new items is that you can actually go for um, Oblivion Orb. Got our Luden Zeko. I'm not Luden Zeko, sorry. Our Archangel Staff upgraded now, so now it's the um, Seraph Embrace. Oh my god. Boom! You love to see it, chat. The big wombo combo with Alistar Oriana. <laughs> you love to see it. Hey, you love to see it, chat. We've got one hell of a wombo combo, actually, in our team. Me, Alistar, and then you got Shivana as well jumping in. Then you also have the um, the Yasuo as well with the ultimate knockup. Like, we got one hell of a wombo combo. It's like a perfect team fight comp. Maybe without Shivana. Right, now we have Oblivion Orb. We skip the upgrade for that and we go for... We go for the death cap to give us even more AP. So yeah, the Oblivion Orb by itself, really, really good. Because with the Oblivion Orb, uh, as you can read here, he applies Grievous Wounds. Which means it will stop the healing on the enemy team. Well, not stop, but reduce the healing on the enemy team. Which is quite nice. And with this build as well, you can just keep spamming out your abilities so much. That's kind of unfortunate. I thought Alistar was in range of combo there. Oh god, it's disgusting chat. The combos are too disgusting. Oh, I showed her Siobhan and she survived! Let's go! That was so clean. I shielded the Savannah. Shivana, she survived the Oriana attack. I'm not Oriana, the Fiora attack. Oh man, what a clean game. Let's go. <laughs> Happy B Day, Shu. Have a good stream. It's, it's not my birthday. Come on. Come on, it's not my birthday. You should know this by now, Purple Cow. You should know this by now. Yeah. 
Oh god, the wombo combo. You love to see it, chat. We're gonna go back and get our death cap now. Go back, get our death cap, which is gonna be obviously really important with all our AP that we have as well. And then we're probably gonna go for Zonyas just in case, because they do have quite a lot of dive with the Lee Sin Malphite. So we'll play a little bit defensive and we'll go for the. Um, go for the. Um, Zonyas. Or Stasis Enchant, I should say. I'm still so used to the, um, the league terms or the league names for items. Even though it's a little bit different on this game. As you can see, I could just keep spamming my abilities. I'm never going to run out of mana. Because of the Archangel Ludens combo. Really, really nice. Now I have blue buff as well, which makes it even better. Probably go for Void Staff next. They're probably going to start building some uh, magic resist. Boom! <laughs> you love to see it. You love to see it, chat. You love to see it. I think we're just going to end the game here. Oh god, that was kind of a good combo by them, but I think they're too far behind. One thing I love is that I can just keep spamming abilities, which is so good. I kind of put myself in a bit of situation here now. No, I could have killed a Malphite in the end. It was close. GG's chat. What a game. Victory. Oriana bot lane chat. It can work. Wouldn't really, re really recommend it most of the time. But it worked out pretty well for us. Because in this situation, we had a full AD comp. Camille, Shivana, Yasuo, all AD. So we adjusted. We played Oriana bot lane. Quite a lot of damage as well. Most damage in the whole game. Not too bad. Yeah, this build is crazy. Like, tier first, then you build Ludens, and the whole time you're stacking tier for Seraph's Embrace. Then you've got Oblivion Orb. We stop all the healing on the enemy team. Death Cap. I probably would have built Void and then uh, finish off with the Morello Nomicon. But yeah, very, very clean game.